Hey, how's it going, you lovely people? So, a new Mario Brothers movie trailer came out today, and so I kind of wanted to go over, discuss it all, and just kind of break down this trailer, because there's a lot, and I have a lot of thoughts on this. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the analysis part, where we start off the trailer with this floating basically like floating kingdom kind of thing where this is where like all the koopas line up and it's like territorial warfare which is a little weird to say about something that's mario related but i guess it is what it is i i'm not gonna complain it's kind of cool and surprisingly we go into warfare against weirdly the super mario 64 penguins you know, the penguins that are the most iconic thing of Super Mario 64 that you can just throw a baby one off a cliff and get a weird sense of satisfaction from it. Then we have this little funny bit of the penguins trying to attack with snowballs, but it's just not gonna be enough. So they try and be threatening, and it's just not gonna work. So then magic is put upon them and they get shoved out of the way as Bowser goes full on flamethrower mode and destroys the entire ice kingdom. And then gets his hands on an invincibility star surprisingly. Then Mario gets thrown in straight into the mushroom kingdom and my god, I don't know how I would feel about his look. I'll get to that in due time, but the set pieces are gorgeous around him. He's just overall confused, trying to understand the landscape, as he reaches for what assumes to be a mini mushroom. As a toad comes out of nowhere, slanders his ass for a little bit, for no reason, I don't know why. And then they start jumping towards the mushroom kingdom. But that's not all, because we also get, like, exactly what the title looks like of the movie. And this scene where Luigi is getting chased by dry bones. Now, in terms of my opinion on the film, I think it looks super promising. I do think it kind of looks a little bit unnatural. The main thing that I could possibly compare this to is how people... AI upscale the shit out of Ocarina of Time to make it look super realistic. And yeah, it looks amazing, but it also looks fake. With this, it doesn't really matter. I think that its visuals are absolutely incredible. But I do find them a little bit weird. It's not bad, far from it, but Jesus Christ, they went so hard on detail. So if anything, I just need a little bit of an adjustment to it before I can fully sell it. I also thought with the bizarre ass casting that it would have made this film just look funny bad. But no, these voice actors sell their lines and they don't sound like their actual selves at all. Hell, there's one line where Jack Black just sounds like The Rock. <laughs> I do not. So it's nice to see that it actually looks like an Illumination film that put effort into itself. Wow, it's not like any of that has happened before. I think that was the biggest concern for me personally, is that it was an Illumination film. They are absolutely notorious for making films that make a shit ton of money but are bad. Go watch Sing and The Lorax and tell me those are good films. Not even to mention the shit pile that is Minions, which all I'm gonna say about them is with this one word. No. So I think visually, it's so good! It doesn't look like an Illumination film at all. It looks like something completely different. It doesn't really match the art style that Illumination always goes for, which I absolutely hate. And the animations. Oh my god, there is so much personality and care into these animations that it is insane! Plus, there are some interesting things that I want to go over in terms of the logo. For starters, the O isn't pink! Usually in modern Mario games, it has Mario in the colors of red, green, yellow, blue, and pink but pink is just completely out of it. Which is weird because they represent the Mario characters and Peach is a substantial one and is in this movie. 
So I don't know, I found it a weird little touch that I kind of noticed a little bit ago. Plus, the font color on The Super and Movie kind of resembles the same font color as the original 1993 movie. It has that same bluish gray as the original 1993's font color did, which I find a weird little touch considering that that movie sucked ass. So overall, my opinion is pretty positive on the Mario movie. Like I said earlier, I thought this movie was just going to be funny bad because the casting was hilarious. But seeing the trailer and knowing that it actually works, oh my god, I'm actually really hyped. It is still going to take some getting used to for me personally because it's just so different from most other video game movies that I've seen. It's either the video game movies that I see are fully live action like the Mortal Kombat ones, or they are a mix of animation and live action like they did with the Sonic movies. Or they just let it rock with their same art style like with most of the Pokemon movies excluding Detective Pikachu because that goes under the category of where the Sonic movies lie. So yeah, good job Nintendo, you actually made a good looking Mario Brothers movie. Which is another funny point, this movie got delayed to a point where it is going to be released almost exactly 30 years after the original Super Mario Bros., aka The Mistake Child. So it's a pretty interesting detail even though that, yeah, it's delayed and we can't see it this Christmas. Also another release date fact, this is coming out one day earlier than the Sonic 2 movie did this year. Sonic 2 came out April 8th of this year, this is coming out April 7th of next year. So yeah, overall, I find this super promising, and I can't wait to go watch this movie. Do I think it's gonna rock my socks in terms of its plot? No, because Mario's gonna probably make some dumbass fart joke. But it is shaping itself to be an overall pretty good video game film. So yeah, that's realistically about all that I wanted to cover over this, because my god, this is great. So if you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe, it completely helps me out, and I'd appreciate it a lot! Also, if you want to check out some of the other stuff that I've done, I have a No More Heroes review out, and in very soon, very soon, I will have a Splatoon 3 review out talking about the game and my overall thoughts on it, because I have a lot to say, and I know I'm very late. It's almost a month after release. I know I'm a slow bitch. I'm sorry. Okay, bye.